All right, first tip is to use your keybinds. A is for your select tool, B is for your blade tool, N is for snapping, and Control Shift and L is for linked clips. Let me show you what they all do. Your select tool, which is the A key, is just a normal move tool. Your B key, which is your blade tool, can cut a clip, then you can use your move tool in order to move it around. Then your snapping is your N key. What it changes is, see how it no longer snaps to your playhead? If you turn it back on, it snaps to it and you have to move it past in order to move it past your playhead. This is handy for small adjustments where you don't need it to snap. And then finally, Control Shift L is your link. If you click off the clips, turn off linking and drag only the audio, sorry, only the video or only the audio, they'll move independently. But if you click Control Shift L again, it selects both. All right, for my second tip is using the timeline proxy mode. For example, I just put some film damage effect on my clip and it's a little bit laggy here and there, like right there, there's a lag spike in the beginning, right there, there's a lag spike. What you can do is go up to the top find playback, go down to timeline proxy mode, and set it to either half resolution or quarter resolution. Quarter resolution will lower how your preview looks, half resolution will lower it a bit, but it might still be laggy. For example, if I put it on half, you can see that that lag in the middle actually disappears right there. When you're about to render, go back up to playback and set it to off so it doesn't interfere with any rendering settings. Next tip is gonna be setting a render preset. Go over to Deliver, go over to Custom, set all of your settings. Mine is MP4, H.264, 1920 by 1080, 60 frame rate. For example, if you were rendering like Ultra HD, I believe this is 4K or 8K, you can set that. I only render at 1920 by 1080. What you then want to do, go up to the top, click save as new preset, and save it as, for example, YouTube preset example, and hit OK. As you can see, it pops up here. For example, you want to compress some sort of clip into a smaller resolution. Go down to 720p, delete the final name and you do it again and you call it for example compression 720p click OK and now you have your compression 720p and if you click this little arrow you can select, select your YouTube's uh, preset or your compression preset this will save you a lot of time because you're gonna have them right there and you won't need to you know change your settings constantly the next tip has to do with your footage and not actually DaVinci. What you want to do is start recording before a game, for example, before a game of Valorant, which is up to 13, and end it after you finish the game. Don't keep playing another game and another game and only finish it at the end of your recording session. Finish the recording after every single game and start it back up. Why I do this, I'm going to explain right now. Basically, uh, if you record your whole gaming session, it's going to be harder and it's going to take more time in order to filter through all of that footage because you won't know which game is which. If you do it game by game, you'll know that, for example, one game you had like 10 kills, the other game you had 30 kills. Uh, you would, you know, delete the game with 10 kills and you would keep the game with 30 kills. And if you do that, you won't need to sort through all of the footage in order to find the game with 30 kills and cut it up in DaVinci. You would have all of the individual files in your file explorer. Finally, please label your clips. For example, I have my Fuse 3K on house. I met a kid who sounded like he was on crack on favela. I got a 3K with Mozzie on Outback. And now I know which one is which, so I don't have to look through all my footage to figure out which one I need to put into my Siege meme -taj, which one I need to put into my Valorant meme -taj. And for the final tip, it's auto-saving. 
please turn on auto saving? It has saved me multiple times. My computer or my DaVinci or my power goes out and it automatically saves right before it so I don't lose any work. I have lost upwards of an hour of work before and I don't want that to happen to you guys. So what you want to do, go up to the DaVinci Resolve button, click Preferences, go over to User, and click Project Save and Load. There will be a button that says Live Save, check it, and click Save in the bottom. That's it. I know this video is a bit fast, but I just wanted to prove it. Uh, I know this video wasn't really long, but I just wanted to provide some fast tips and get some content out to you guys. Next time I might shoot for a longer tutorial if you guys comment some good ideas down in the description below. I'll be sure to look at them and pick one out for my next video. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.